Hello, 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 hello. It's your girl, Lovely the Great. And I got up very early this morning, as a matter of fact, around 7 o'clock to make these red candy apples. I did not know it takes so long for the candy to heat up. Oh, my God. I was just sitting there watching the stove, just sitting there watching. It just was taking forever, forever, forever. And then my sister told me this horror story, like, don't let, don't touch, for whatever I do, don't touch the candy. Don't, like... Let the candy spill out over me. Don't um let the candy boil out and hit me. Just all kinds of stuff about this candy. Well, I was about ready to say, forget, forget these apples. <laughs> she was like, oh, you'll get fourth degree burns. I was like, oh my God. I got to carry this candy from the stove to the sink. What if I trip? Oh, I, all I could think of was every kind of accident that could possibly happen with this damn candy because she made me feel like she made me think I was going to die with this goddamn hot ass candy. But I'm done. I made 15 red apples. I got like 30 caramel apples. I should have did it the opposite. I should have did 15 caramel and 30 red apples because I didn't know that the caramel apples can melt out there in the sun. I wasn't even thinking about that. I thought they were going to get hard like this. But anyway. I got a lot of candy left over, so I, I made too much candy, but I'm not worrying about that. Just wanted to show y'all my apples. I'm going to go ahead and get dressed, and hopefully we can go ahead and get these things bagged up, and I can get on out there, because I'm supposed to be there already, and I'm running late now. All right, it's your girl, Love is the Great. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.